Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, holy redeemers of the salvation of humanity. As we continue our journey through the Lion's Gate portal, our Lyra nation of New Lemuria rises in the light as we uplift and elevate our good people of the new earth into the resonance of pure awareness, beyond all duality, fears, and false projections. We are released from the burdens of time as we enter the timelessness of the non-physical merging with the physical through our sacred vessels of the Merkaba. Our local Solaris continues to send Pachamama waves of gamma plasma adamantine light by releasing multiple C-class solar flares today and another powerful M-class flare maxing at M4.11 at 1558 UTC, we see Gaia being enveloped in the violet ray of our beloved Saint Germain for her final transformation and transfiguration in the light as Mothership 33 of our Universal Alliance of Light. Keep anchoring the keys and codes through your avatars and deep into the crystalline core of Mother Earth. Synchronizing with today's intense Leo fire energies, we have Galactic Signature Keen 176, Yellow Resonant Warrior. Keen 176 is a powerful galactic activation portal day and also one of the 13 clear signs on the tomb lid of Mayan King Pakal Votan. As all way showers step into their roles as spiritual warriors on a path with heart and peace, we call in this one true ascension timeline and hold fast our visions of our new earth within our sacred heart centers. All starseed earth angelics of the 144 are pushing through all boundaries, barriers, and obstacles to our full redemption and freedom and the dawning of the new 5D golden age of eternal life. We forgive, release, and let go of the three hells of suffering as we transcend the separation programming of the false 3D matrix and step into the Divine Mother Creatrix of the new heaven upon the new earth. In the mind of Buddha, of the Awakened One, all becomes clear and bright in the virtue of our true nature of infinite light and infinite life. As we merge the yin with the yang, Shakti dances with Shiva through the cosmos to allow the eagle and condor to fly free over our sacred lands, calling in our divine jurisdiction and dispensation of peace, prosperity, and harmony for all sentient beings of the way. As our divine feminine mother goddess Gaia rises, we rise with her. The Kundalini is raised through the vortex of the central channel of Sushumna into the crystal palace at the center of the spirit gate, activating the crown chakra, forming the halo and the glorifying of God's kingdom on earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful protection affirmation. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 13 degrees, 9 minutes Sagittarius. The sun is at 5 degrees, 38 minutes Leo. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 6 degrees Leo. An old-fashioned, conservative woman is confronted by an up-to-date girl. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 14 degrees Sagittarius. The Pyramids and the Sphinx from AstrologyWeekly.com and today from Divine Brothor of the Light, Tibetan Master, Chamchuru Rinpoche. 
No amount of intellectual knowledge can satisfy the need for the direct experience of the wisdom that is beyond concepts and duality. Do not be a fool and spend your whole life in a book. Over the centuries, many Buddhists have fallen into this trap before. Learn from their mistake. Because being a scholar of Buddhism does not necessarily equate to experiencing wisdom. Of course, you must study the teachings, but you must also know when it is time to put what you have learnt into practice. Because only the direct experience of the wisdom that is beyond concepts and duality can set you free. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Celia Fen. At this lion's gate we are experiencing significant shifts as the first wave of deep holographic humans emerges on the planet together with the diamond starfire children. This is a shift where we activate the holographic process that unifies heaven and earth, masculine and feminine, to create the multidimensional holographic vehicle that will take us forward in the new earth. Based in the heart and motivated by love, this new high-frequency way of being is expanding and opening out our path and our journey. From CeliaFen.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Catron. Big closure energies for those that have fulfilled their roles and contracts within their monad. The karmic balancing established and mutually in council agreed upon. With these closures, there's excitement in rebirth energies, having the utmost certainty that it is finished, providing the sense of freedom to begin to align with parallel chosen realities, agreements, and collaborations. Many jump to their destiny timeline with the 7-7 portal and have been more dedicated than ever to wrapping up business, integration of karmic lessons, walking the talk, speaking truth, and choosing self first and foremost. As we move through the sacred Lyran passage and move towards 8-8, there's an absolute knowing that it's truly our time. Huge celebrations, massive quantum jumps and reunions that will bring us to our knees in gratitude. It is all aligning. Be brave, courageous lions. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Mary Costello. Affirmation of Mother's Embrace Within the golden timeline, I receive and embrace all returning aspects of myself, including my family, my incarnations, and all in my lineage, into the golden understanding that all is to return to one. We are the seeds from the stars, and we have called for the eternal of ourselves to come stand here with us interdimensional magnetic channel in place from mother ark to mother earth interdimensional tree of life structure in place from father ark to father earth all is ready for the christ light to enter to bring our seeds of gold to life golden soul golden child christ mind of one is returning this was called for by the ancient father trees I heard this call early last year. Archon mind control is undone. Ancient mind network restoring. Blessings in the love of one. And today from Divine Brolthor of the Light, Sean Caulfield. The butterfly makes its appearance. It lets go the weight it was holding. And it is free. Creation is refining itself through us. Hence it's been an intense time, and all for the greater good. The intensity is the quickening that is creation, transcending the imprints of duality through our inner starlight memory. We really feel this because of the past immature states of time that created internal flaws, and the time we are in now is very high vibrational, and bringing the illness to the surface now to refine and heal. Thus the acceleration of time is pulling us to be centered because in our center is where we heal and can make right our problems. When we look within we are centered in our hearts, truth and humble, and our soul can hear the call of its true destiny. 
The destiny of our cosmic creator created us to live true, too. Today we begin anew, and that it's a new 13 days, and it's the middle of the 260-day round, one monkey. Initiates begin something new, time to playfully explore and create. In the center of the butterfly appears, and it spreads its wings and can fly, because it has let go the weight it was holding. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Shea, from Numbers by Shea Numerology, 72823. You have seen, done, experienced, and felt so much this month. Every molecule was filled up and expanded. Much was exposed and explored. Much more was realized and released. It's time now to face an unknown future, and it must remain unknown until it plays out in each passing moment. You've been transformed as these months have passed, and you aren't done yet, but you aren't in charge. One of the main requirements of a number seven year is to have faith. Do not push, do not demand, do not resist. Allow, detach, breathe, observe, receive. Today will guide you, you will respond, and you will accomplish. Your right action is to be actively present and engaged. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Ra James. Today is a major galactic activation portal day. Expect major upgrades. We are in the Lion's Gate portal, which is very much open. The Lion's Gate is a cosmic portal. During this time, the veil between us and the other realm is really thin. That opens us up to very spiritual energies, and we can connect with the other realm easier. Many of you that are galactic are receiving more messages from your star family. These are some of the most powerful energies of the year. Huge amounts of energy are coming into our planet right now. Many of them are from the center of our galaxy. The great central sun, the sun, Orion, Sirius, and the earth are all coming into alignment. They will fully align 8-8 as Orion's belt aligns with the pyramids of Giza. This opens a Syrian stargate. When the 8-8 portal activates, the entire planet will be flooded with a huge influx of light. It will activate the entire earth, ley lines, and consciousness grid. These are the energies of heaven merging with earth. These energies are giving us a chance to activate our crystalline DNA. That's why using the energies of the lion's gate can help you tap into your soul's wisdom. We also have an Aquarius full moon, August 1st. This full moon will be supercharged with the energies of the Lion's Gate portal. It will also be very strong as it's also a super moon. It's helping us to focus on the path ahead. It's shining a light on things so that you can see what's coming up more clearly. It's meant to steer you on the right path towards your destiny. This full moon is bringing a lot of healing and cleansing energies. It's also meant to help you to shift into your full potential and into who you were always meant to be. From SparksofDivineLightHealing.com From Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurora Ray A Breakthrough Message from the Galactic Federation Beloved Ones The following is a breakthrough message from the Galactic Federation through various ways of communication, we are attempting to reach as many people of Earth's surface population as possible. There is a network of consciousness that connects all things. You are made of this energy. You are energy. You are eternal. You are the light. Ultimately, your galactic family only wishes the best for you, dear human. We would never lead you astray. This is not our role in the liberation of this planet. We are merely guiding you to the light so that it will shine on your path once again. Because you are never alone on this planet, dear human being, there are countless loving beings watching over you who will inspire you not to give up. The human race has reached a crucial point in its history. Over the recent few years, there have been several distinct changes to your reality that have enabled you to break free from the artificial matrix on Earth. The primary reason for our visit to your planet is to help you understand and awaken your full potential. 
knowing how much energy we invested in seeing to it that you would complete all the steps in this process. We want you to know how deeply we care about you and how excited we are about assisting you to become the co-creators of your reality rather than remaining in a state as unconscious pawns. We have designed this process to awaken human potential. It is not religious in nature, nor does it involve any ritual. It involves simple, powerful movements done with slow grace, resulting in stillness within, with expanded awareness. This expansion brings you back to your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual balance for more clarity and energy. The most fundamental truth is that most people on earth are asleep. Not only are their five senses closed, but the mind has also lost contact with being. The mind is conditioned to be asleep because it is full of memories. Memories of what you did yesterday, last year, ten years ago. Memories of who said this or did that. Memories of your worries, fears, and concepts. The mind is full of them, and they prevent you from having a present moment experience. Many people live in a delusive sleep. They walk and they run, they pursue pleasure and shun pain, but sleep continues as a basic condition of their life. Also, a person who is in deep slumber is never conscious of their sleep. He feels as if he were wide awake, active and alert. The sleeper forgets the sleep state and takes it for reality. They are unconsciously living their lives, without being aware of it. They are doing everything mechanically, like a robot. They are working on something, thinking about something, and feeling something else. They are disorganized in body, mind, and heart. It is not possible for them to unite as a whole. However, harmony with the fifth dimension can only be achieved when all of these elements come together as one, as a whole. Waking man up to his true nature is the only way out of this dilemma in which man finds himself. It is also the only way in which he can find a bigger, richer, more satisfying experience and time with the infinite. Man's reality, his sense of what is real, must be expanded so that he will not be limited by narrow, petty, materialistic concepts. To awaken is to give up living behind masks or to give up the pretense. It is an essential step in breaking out of the conventional roles and self-images they have constructed, and in letting go of habitual ways of thinking and behaving. The time for action is now. The awareness of the true nature of your reality is increasing rapidly. Those who have been paying attention and sharing what they know are finding their increased numbers enable them to affect a greater number of people. And whenever one of you awakens, that normally closed gate to the fifth dimension opens even for those who are still sleeping. This planet has so many people who are ready for the great shift, whether they are aware of it or not. Who will awaken the others if you are all sleeping? Even if one of you wakes up, the gate to 5D opens for the awakening of all of you, because the one who is awake has the ability to shake all of the sleeping ones awake. You ask how? You do this by making this frequency accessible to others by living the truth of it yourself. As a light worker, you have a higher purpose. You have a mission. You have a reason for being here. You have the ability to enlighten other people around you about their true nature. You always show the way for others and help them achieve that inner awakening that allows other people to step out of the matrix. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation, from the GalacticFederation.com. From Divine Brother of the Light, Michael Love, Exotic Energies and the Grand Solar Flash, Pleiadian Light Forces Transmission, 728-2023, for immediate broadcast to the starseeds of planet Earth. Great one. As we head into another super galactic weekend, the Earth Alliance reports that approximately three Earth hours ago, a massive spike of 40 Hz, 5D, cosmic energy penetrated Earth's atmosphere and impacted the surface. 
This high vibrational light wave is sustaining at the 5D level at this hour. This high vibrational light resonates much higher than solar energy and is composed of exotic particles of gamma light that are carrying intelligent information. As you know, this light can instantaneously transmute DNA and it completely recodes the genome so it functions on a much higher level. This expansion of DNA is the grand evolution of consciousness the Pleiadians speak about. The Earth Alliance also details information about a record number of strong M-class solar flares over the last three weeks, each sending huge plasma waves towards the planet. Dear one, this is truly the most amazing time to be alive on planet Earth as everything is being revealed and coming up into your consciousness at this time. As you are aware, UAP ET disclosure is completely out of the box now, and this is the long-awaited sign of the incredible times we have waited for. The Pleiadians say that this disclosure event is being orchestrated by the forces of light and will lead to incredible technologies being made available to the citizens of Earth. This includes technology that can instantly heal the body and give one the gift of long life. It will open the doors to unlimited energy and abundance and will pave the way to the new 5D Earth. We are also sure you have noticed that the planet is rapidly warming, causing record-breaking weather events to occur all across the globe. Also be aware that this global warming is absolutely not being caused by human beings. Furthermore, many of you are aware of the increased frequency of strange sightings in the skies of Earth including what seems to be two suns, natural cloud trails, vivid colors in the skies, cube-shaped clouds, and many other otherworldly sights. Here is the latest Earth Alliance intel about the situation. Since the year 2000, a rogue solar system began a close approach to Earth's solar system, and inside intel indicates that this system is a binary one to Earth's sun, containing a dense brown dwarf star, a giant red gas planet, and several other planets, moons, and asteroids. The red gas giant is currently located directly behind Earth's sun, and the brown dwarf. This configuration emits an incredible rainbow halo around the sun each day. Since this is a binary system and the two stars, Earth's sun and the brown dwarf, are very close in proximity, the energy being exchanged is producing intense white plasma light and the added heat that Earth is experiencing at this time. This white plasma light can literally burn the skin within a few minutes and is so bright that it will almost blind someone who looks directly at it. The brown dwarf star orbits the sun every 26,000 years and is responsible for the precession of the equinoxes. It comes close to Earth twice during this orbit, every 13,000 years. In the past, this close orbit has always caused a pole shift and major cataclysm on Earth. But for the first time in human history, humankind, with the help of E.T., have the technology to avert this. And in fact, it has already been averted. Supermagnetic, counterbalancing technology, based on Tesla tech, has been in place for the last 10 years in secret bases in Antarctica. Believe it or not, the geoengineering project to dim the heat and intense light coming into Earth that has also been in place for the last 10 years has also helped save the day. The last time the system orbited close to Earth was nearly 13,000 years ago during the Great Deluge and the sinking of Atlantis. One of the planets in this rogue solar system is the famed Nibiru, and its orbits close to the Earth exactly every 3,624 years. Nibiru has a periodicity with Earth that is 3.5 times more frequent than the brown dwarf it orbits. This rogue solar system will make its closest approach in March 2025, and then will begin departing the solar system after its 12-year visit. Before it leaves, however, it is predicted to cause its recurrent 13,000-year solar nova event known as the Grand Solar Flash 
that will instantly activate old dormant DNA among humanity. Great One, as incredible levels of light pour into Earth, it is a time when all things will be made known. As consciousness continues to expand, everything that was hidden in darkness is being revealed for what it truly is. This is a time when we all must work extra hard to raise our own vibrations, but also raise the vibration of this entire realm higher and higher. The strong energies coming into the planet right now are pounding the light bodies of the 4.5 billion star seeds stationed on Earth. And global ascension symptom reports are off the chart as starseeds prepare to integrate this large dose of light into their body cells. This light is cleansing the body to its core level, preparing the light beings of Earth for the grand ascension and the journey home. The Pleiadians teach that when the light comes in strong this way, it is important to ingest natural energy foods, soak in a sea salt bath. Keep crystals around your auric field to stabilize the energies. Meditate, do breath work, ground in nature, get plenty of rest and sleep. Take good care of you at this time and feel free to share any ascension symptoms you may be experiencing. Godspeed, Michael and the Pleiadians from 5dearthproject.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Natalia Alba. The Lion's Gate, Chakra, Transmogrify, and Diamond Heart Activation. Beloved ones, as we approach the 8-8 portal, many of us are beginning to feel the exhaustion from this new passage, as well as from the many other portals we had since March. We are co-creating with all the previous energies that we have been consciously embodying and that now collide within ourselves. Treating our bodies with utmost respect is pivotal to helping them regenerate and stabilize so they can continue with the ascension process. Ascension is precisely about working consciously with our physical bodies, not for results, but for embodying a more peaceful state of being, retrieving our wholeness, and hence wisdom and power, which is what gives us the opportunity to exit the matrix graduating from a 3D plane when the time comes. This is a very important time for all who are physically transcending their lower chakras, for we are being assisted by the Auroras, Arcturians, as well as our Lyran and Syrian families to transfigure our lower chakras and embody our higher ones. This is a process that many of us have already undergone, and that is precisely what begins the process of shifting from carbon base to crystalline beings. This is the most important step towards DNA awakening and conscious evolution. During these months and especially during August, the soul emanations that are descending upon our planet together with the eight dimensional energies that now too are on our earth plane will help us dissolve the many lunar implants, programs, fear, disempowerment, and feminine distortions within our first chakra triad, restoring and transmuting their lower membranes into their illumined ones, a process that needs massive waves of plasma to be able to remove all the trauma and miasmatic cords experienced for eons, and that we still continue to feel until we become conscious of the manipulations on our planet and on other planets of our solar system, healing and restoring our unique essence, facing our fears, balancing our egoic self, and informing ourselves from authentic sources, especially our own personal guidance, is vital in this process to distinguish what is real from what is another human illusion, a false program, or any other distortion. For those who have already passed this initial process, Moving into further stages, the coming passage is a propitious time for DNA healing and crystalline diamond heart activations. As you reconfigure your chakra system and begin to heal your heart, moving into your higher heart, situated in your thymus and hence soul portal, you activate your Christos seed, which is simply your loving and compassionate divine essence 
reconnecting yourself with your soul and monad and with the organic earth's crystalline grid retrieving alignment with the earth's life force and reconnecting with all guide shared a universal crystal a turquoise for those who feel guided to work with it anchoring the lion's gate energies and working with the opening of their heart center thymus and throat soul portal to help them reconnect regenerate and move away from what no longer serves your highest good and that of all a stone that will also help you in speaking courageously your personal truth standing firm in who you are and in your power during this process the reconnection with your eighth chakra begins opening your gold portal which is the connection to your soul records and continuing until reaching the ninth chakra as the monad complex extends from the seventh chakra to the ninth one when this occurs you have activated your galactic essence free yourself from control and trauma and regaining the memories of who you are and your unique role within creation we all have our time to pass through this process for there is no fixed time for us to evolve when the human self is ready our soul will descend all the assistance we require for us to continue embodying higher levels of awareness our mission is to be open to releasing old beliefs and habits that restrict the free flow of divine consciousness to our human self which is what allows us to embody more light wisdom and power we are experiencing one of the most important years in our ascension path everyone who has the will to evolve will be given this opportunity not just a few selected ones our mission is to do our inner work not to achieve results or to manifest a certain outcome but to heal and retrieve our authentic self for there is no more satisfaction than living within divine love integrity and compassion for all i wish you a loving integration beloved ones may you always remain centered in your illumined crystalline heart within infinite love from nataliaalba.com and from divine sister of the light judith kusel i am at the stage with this escalated purification happening now where I am consciously seeking quietude, stillness, and wish to simply open myself to absorb the immensely powerful inflow of divine light, divine love, divine power, and divine wisdom, to sit at the feet of the cosmic masters and allow myself to be illumined by the eternal illumined truths, the all-seeing, all-hearing, all-knowing, to allow the transfiguration in all aspects and forms, expressions, and to surrender. In so doing, one becomes what one is seeking and lives what is given from the one heart, one soul, one unity. The teacher, the teachings, and the taught become as one. The seer, the seen, and the seeing. For this seeps into every living cell, DNA strand, every atom, electron, molecule, subatomic particles of all twelve bodies, as the rod of power ignites. As long as the ego self seeks to distract, seeks to negate, scatters, one cannot enter the portal. It is in dissolving and nothingness that all manifests. The eternal circle, the spirals of creation out of no thing all births into new life and form nothing is everything one from judithkusel.com and from divine sister of the light karen lithica light family have a lovely weekend light integrations are underway as we immerse in the lion's gate portal deep and immersive opportunities for cosmic alignments coupled with great light awakenings be gentle with yourself for the awakened souls are seeing feeling expanding and all they need in this now moment rapid opportunities for your light mission advancement see the light opportunity in every moment rest and integrate in the light of now with love light family together we join in light from karenlithica.com and from divine sister of the light colleen lemma 
The Divine Feminine is more than just loving, gentle, caring, and intuitive. She is also motivated, strong, passionate, and intellectual. She is the Goddess, the Priestess, the Magician, and the Healer. As we enter into the Lion's Gate portal between July 28th and August 12th, there will be an increase of high-frequency energies streaming forth onto our planet that will activate aspects of ourselves in support of our evolution and growth as a soul. There will be a magnification of the release of old patterns and wounds from the past, an activation of dormant DNA within us birthing new gifts, light codes activating our fifth-dimensional light body, and the activation of the higher heart the heart of the lion, shifting us into a greater awakening of the unconditional love of who we really are. On Friday, July 28th, Mercury, ruler of the mental realm, is shifting into Earth sign Virgo at 5.31 p.m. Eastern Time. The messenger will stay in this analytical sign for an extra long time until October 4th. Because of a retrograde motion that will begin August 23rd and last through September 15th. While in this feminine sign of the maiden, our thoughts, perceptions, and communications will be more practical, grounded, logical, and down to earth. We will examine and scrutinize all of the details and use our powers of discernment to dissect and pick apart situations to have a more thorough understanding of them. We will inspect, research, study, and explore new solutions to old, long-standing issues and situations in our lives and within ourselves. This is the perfect time to reorganize the mental body and work towards self-improvement. Late on Friday, July 28th Eastern Time, the Sun, ruler of our personality, an expressive fire sign Leo, is in conjunct Saturn, ruler of responsibility, and elusive water sign Pisces. The typical sunny and bright energy of the lion may be deterred by feelings of restriction and limitation. Confidence and leadership potential may be met with insecurity or an inferiority complex. Frustrations may occur when we do not feel recognized or appreciated by our loved ones or peers. If we make some adjustments, by merging the courage and passion of the Leo fire element with the sensitivity and intuition of the Pisces water element, then situation should unfold much easier. Blessings of love and light to all from sacredsoulempowerment.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mercury and Leo try north node in Aries. Mercury enters Virgo. Pluto and Capricorn square the nodal axis. Pluto is on the Sabian symbol, a woman reading tea leaves. I sit with the lord of the underworld, fair ripples down my spine. Tell me my fortune, Pluto. Will it be the house of my dreams? A winning lottery ticket, the ring on my finger, the six-figure book deal. Tell me my future, Pluto, because I am afraid of the void. Afraid I won't succeed. Afraid that there will be nothing left to say I was here after I have gone. Tell me my future, Pluto, because I want to know that what I'm doing is worth it. That the energy and time and struggle will make things better in the end. I want to know the end because then I might begin. Tell me my future, Pluto, because I need to know I will be okay. Pluto is quiet, shifts in his seat rolls dice between his fingers, stirs tea with the other hand, he radiates love in ways I can't describe, deep energetic waves, all-encompassing, the kind of love that holds you like a gravity blanket or a lover in the dark. He studies the dice, the tea leaves, the card he flipped before I arrived. He looks up, smiles his eternal smile, takes my fingers in his own. Cool, hardened calluses like little rocks, skin on ancient skin. Now the dice are in my hands. Child, he says, when are you going to trust yourself? From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zoltkeen Times, Keen 176, 
yellow resonant warrior. Resonant is the name for the number seven and its keywords are channel, attune, and inspire. It's day seven and we are in the very middle of the white dog wave spell and this is a portal day too. The seventh day is all about tuning in, connecting with your natural intuitive abilities. This is a handy number for the middle day of the wave spell because what better way to assess your progress thus far than using your psychic abilities. We always make the right choice when we trust our gut instincts. So today, think about the remainder of the wave spell as well as how the journey is going. Think about your goals set on day one. Feel your way forward and you'll be heading in the right direction. Today is Yellow Warrior, which represents intelligence, questioning, and fearlessness. Oh, how the Yellow Warrior loves to go on quests and take on missions. We too can wield a sword today, which represents our willpower. Exert yours and make your mission successful. As it is a resonant day, it's best to follow your intuition and allow it to show you the way. The warrior asks a lot of questions and has a great thirst for knowledge. He is very intelligent and the quests that he prefers to take on are quests for answers. Luckily today we can go on a quest for answers and our intuition will provide them for us. Missions are more likely to succeed when we tap into this ability. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio, Yellow Resonant Warrior, 7 Keeb, Keen 176, 28th of July, 2023, Attuning to the Noble Warrior, 28-7-2023 equal 10-7-7 equal 177 equal 114 equal 15 equal 6. Day codes 28 planning for the future manifestation. 10 manifestation authority power perfection. 1 new beginnings original unique independent leader. 6 heaven Christ fertility family harmony. Month year code 7, Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Solitude, Initiation, 14, Media, Publicity, Promotion, Recognition, 5, Freedom, Change, Transformation, Movement, Liberation, 20, The Awakening, Clear Vision, 2, Partner, Twin, Cooperation, Alliances, 23, Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection, Keen 176 equal 14 equal 5, change, transformation, freedom, liberation. A powerful galactic activation portal day bringing closure of the old world to herald our new chapter and new galactic year. Today the new earth rainbow warriors are stepping up and banding together as they trailblaze the path to the new time. On this special gap day, we are focused on building a new foundation for a peace-filled world. Keen 176 is also one of the 13 clear signs on the tomb lid of Mayan King Pakal Votan. These signs highlight the 13 keen galactic signatures, which hold special significance as markers in humanity's evolutionary passage. We have a Galactic Activation Portal Day, a Pakal Votan Day, and an Emotional Tone Day today. Be extra mindful of what you are feeling and expressing today so that you do not get stung. Open your heart and become a channel for divine love instead. Day 7 in the White Dog Wave Spell of Unconditional Love, Loyalty, Devotion, Service, Friendship, and Faith. We are uncovering and healing all that separates us from source love in order to be love. Today, the resonant warrior seeks to channel the courage to love thy neighbor fearlessly as we step into the shoes of the noble spiritual warrior. Tone of creation, resonant tone seven in the emotional realm, action inspires, power channel, essence attunement. A definition of attunement is a kinesthetic and emotional sensing of others knowing their rhythm, effect, and experience by metaphorically being in their skin. Going beyond empathy to create a two-person experience of unbroken feeling connectedness by providing a reciprocal effect and or resonating response. Today we are super sensitive as we are attuned through our senses. 
the emotional feeling body. We are super connected to our kin and feeling the togetherness as one global family, attuned to unconditional love. Tune in and feel what your body is sensing today. At tone seven, our vibrating phenomenon learns to be still and to listen. Mystical seven understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better. Once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment. Number seven is also the frequency of the mystic and the magician, giving you the magic to channel love and God's grace in this pure divine energy today. What channel are you attuned to today? Are you attuned to new earth frequency? So beloveds enjoy this very special divine gap day and remember the precept from the teachings of Yeshua. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. War no more, choose love and peace. Let us reimagine a beautiful new world filled with unconditional love and loving kindness for all. May peace be with us all. Amen. It is done. Today's question is how can I fearlessly attune and channel the power of divine unconditional love to create a peace-filled world? Divine blessings for the rise of the peaceful, noble, rainbow warriors today. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 176, Yellow Resonant Warrior. The mantra, the code for today is, I channel in order to question, inspiring fearlessness. I seal the output of intelligence. With the resonant tone of attunement, I am guided by the power of elegance. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. I'd like to thank Divine Brother of the Light, Reed Kane, for raising your pledge on Patreon today and for your continued support. We appreciate you and all your support, Divine Brother of the Light. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a monthly pledge, you could do so to our Patreon account at whitegoldeagle.com. Or if you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with a very powerful affirmation from Divine Sister of the Light, Ara Campbell. Protection Affirmation Visualize a shield of protective light surrounding you and say, I am safe. I am divinely protected. I am able to withstand all storms. I trust that I am secure. I am protected by the universe. So it is. Use black tourmaline, labradorite, fluorite, black and snowflake obsidian, hematite, tiger's eye, black onyx, and smoky quartz stones for protection. From the goddesscircle.net. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and restful weekend ahead as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.